Hey guys, Mitch here. Today we're going over Google Chrome for iOS. Yes, Google has finally been ported over to the iOS platform to support Google Chrome's latest browser. Now with Chrome, it is available on your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your iPad, and you'll be able to browse fast from anywhere on the go, and you'll be able to sync your personalized Chrome experience from your computer and bring it anywhere you want to go. Now opening up, you will have the Google Chrome uh, interface just like on your Mac or your PC here. And you come the recent um, websites that you have visited. At the top here, we do have the URL. And here you can either search out a certain uh, name and actually browse Google itself or type out a actual website. And what's nice about it is that they have updated the speak option here. So I can easily go ahead and type in or say this, for example, Google.com. It will go right to Google, so it has its own speech recognition software right within your Google Chrome for your iOS. So at the top here, we do have this little button here, which allows us to go to a new tab, a new incognito tab, which allows you to browse without saving your history. We have our bookmarks or other devices, email, if you want to find in a page, just like a control F on your uh, desktop, you can request a desktop site and you also have your settings and your help. Now this other button, the top right hand button, this will allow you to get multiple tabs. You can have unlimited tabs, so we can open up our YouTube here if we want to, and you can easily go back and forth using the little tab browser here. Now there are some other nice options. You can either swipe over to the right, and you'll be able to browse on the different tabs like this. So it's a faster way to go between your tabs without actually having to go to the tab manager at the top here. Now at the bottom we also have our bookmarks here where you can browse either your mobile bookmarks or the bookmarks on your uh, desktop here. This button right here allows you to go to your other devices. And in your other devices you'll be able to sync up your Mac or your PC to your iOS device to see what browsing history you do have on your desktop and bring it right to your iOS device. So right now I do have a few tabs open up on my MacBook here as you can see. I'm able to go ahead and actually open up the tab that I'm currently on on my Mac for instance right to my iOS device. So it's just a, a nice added feature in Chrome. So guys, with Google Chrome for your iOS, you'll be able to search and navigate from the same box. You can choose your results that appear almost like the desktop version of Google Chrome. You have the open and close tabs, open up unlimited tabs that you like. You can switch tab by dragging from one edge of the screen over to the other, and it will switch the tabs. And we also have the sign into your Chrome to bring your open tabs of bookmarks and your data right from your computer. And last but not least, we also have the incognito, which allows you to have your uh, private history without actually saving your history on your iDevice. If interested, you can head over to the App Store and pick up Google Chrome for free. If you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.